All right, welcome back to more Storybook Brawl. Um, it looks like we have the Fates, Pied Piper, and Loki in front of us. Hmm, I've seen some crazy Fates comps lately. It makes me kind of want to try them out again. I also just love Loki. And then Pied Piper's been interesting. I kind of want to give them a run. Last time I tried them, I completely bombed. So let's give it a, let's give it a Rego. Ooh, we start off with probably the dream start, which is just a blind mouse. And then hopefully we can uh, triple these early and get our extra treasure. Up against Sir Galahad. I uh, I posted on, I was talking to subreddit recently, and I, I've started putting the link to the subreddit in the description, just so anyone who catches the videos can find people there and talk with them about the game, because I've had a lot of fun doing so. Um, and, oh, what was I saying? I completely spaced, sorry. Oh, it was about Sir Galahad and how he's much better than I was giving him credit for. I just stopped running Galahad because I didn't like him very much. Apparently the hero was good enough to, to deserve a nerf, so I was not playing that right. Uh, here we're definitely grabbing the animal and let's grab the baby root. Just make our team very hard to kill. Forsyth. I wonder if this is Aaron Forsyth, the Vice President of Wizards of the Coast. That'd be kind of cool. Um, he's the Vice President of whooping our board. <laughs> so let's grab... Man, we've seen a lot of Cinderella's going around. I don't really want to grab her, though. Let's just keep buying these buffed-up animals. I think that's where his strength is, is just keep buying the buffed-up animal. Just keeping us above the curve, basically. Okay, up against the mask. This is before they've been able to use their mask spell, so it's good for us. I think we would just win this on the back of our buffed up creatures. Although, well, we'll touch. Oh no, we we win because of the baby root. All right, feels good, man. And then yeah, I'll take that extra the three, four Billy buff, Billy Billy buff, <laughs> Billy gruff. Um, what do I want now? Probably this white stag. And then it can buff up. Well, I think I wanted to buff these kitty cuppers just so they can get some slays. Uh, do I want to grab, I could trade like baby root for mad men. I don't know how beneficial that is though. And I'm not like, we're not super strong. So maybe I don't want to go trading health for gold at this point in time. Let's just roll. Alright, I'll lock for another blind mouse. So the hope is that this stag can buff our um, kitty cut purses and we'll get some nice gold out of this exchange. Uh, the mummy's pretty scary. It just kills everything on our board twice if we ever had combat with it. Which it did. We did not get our attack the way we wanted from our stag, so we're gonna get a tie. Which is alright. We'll grab this. Part of me wants to grab Wish Upon a Star. It's a little greedy. Hmm. It's really greedy. Yeah, I just need to find some better three drops. Maybe the pig. Just a beefy pig. And then there's a triple. What would I sell for that though? Nothing, I guess I can sell this baby root. It's not doing a whole lot. All right, we have needle nose daggers and dancing sword. So we have dancing sword, and then dancing sword for very confident people. Uh, I, I'm just gonna take the dancing sword by itself. I'm not very confident <laughs> in where we're at. And then that lets me swap this here, do something like this. Although I want the pig to be last, but I also wanted to get buff for the stag. But the stag needs to attack early so it doesn't just die. So I guess we'll do it this way. And we're up against. Pup the Magic Dragon, who has not lost once. Which is pretty standard for Pup. They have a very strong early game with their buff. I just want one attack with a stag. <laughs> uh, Double is so good with Pup. And then we're going to lose the gold here. Or give them gold, rather. Okay. Let's grab another stag. Don't think I want any of this, so we'll roll. 
We'll triple this for a level four treasure. Reduplicator is pretty good, but we're not doing anything with it. Let's just take Deck of Many Things. I think Deck of Many Things is very underrated and is a very, very good treasure. Now we have an 8 7. We can take. I wish we had one more gold. We could just take this trash can or Turkish Delight. I'm pretty sure it used to be called Trash Can. That's why I always mix it up. It's also just an 8 7 crafty. I don't hate that. It's just good buff, huh? And we can do one more roll. Nothing we really care about. All right. All right, let's see how bad Horde Dragon's going. Um, sometimes they just like super high roll and then we're in trouble. It looks like they're okay right now. Uh, they did get a slay off, which is unfortunate. They have some a good back line for this early in the game. In fact, I'm pretty sure we just lose to this. Well, we get a slay, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. So we take a sheep and wolf's clothing, which is decent. It's probably better than this, though, right? So we'll roll and take another sheep. All right. Kind of missing a reduplicator now. And... Oh, I should have grabbed this. Yeah, that was a mistake. I do want to grab that, though. Um... Not ideal, but we'll do it that way. And then we could put these up front. Although we need this here, so we'll do it this way. Alrighty. Um, hopefully we can start buffing up our Hungry Hungry Hippocampus and maybe it'll stabilize us. We're up against the Ghost and I don't think that they'll have any units because they dropped super early. Um, we could... I don't think it's worth buffing for the Ghost. So yeah, we'll just roll it this way. Alright. So yeah, they would have been Jack's Giant. I don't know why they dropped. Sometimes the game bugs out or something happens. Like my internet dropped a minute ago and I lost a game. So we'll triple this. Hmm. I like Ring of Revenge, just make us a little tougher. Uh, do I want a copycat? I don't really have any last breaths. I guess I could do a, put a sheep in the back row. And then copycat will double, like, summon an extra 6-6. Six, six. Like, that seems okay. Pretty good with our Hungry Hippocampus. Hmm. Or do I just want to find something a little better? I haven't messed much with copycat. Let's, let's give it a shot. We'll swap like that. Give a character plus four health. I might as well do that here and just make up for the fact that we lost so much time with our Hungry Hippo. And then I'm just going to use this to roll another turn. And that's another Hungry Hippo, so... Oh, wait, that's a triple. Yes, we're locking. All right, this is looking good. We're pretty behind. I'm excited, though, because tripled Hungry Hippos grow very fast. All right, all right. Sir Galahad. Okay, so they're also doing the animal thing. Um, Eye of Ares is interesting. It's going to make our summons also pretty good. Now we're going to get an extra cat. And they're also going to get an extra cat. Wait, do you get... Does Copycat trigger both? Should I be running both my cats behind Copycat? I was not aware of that. We lose this? Unfortunate. All right, does that work? The characters behind me. Wow, okay. Well, I was running that wrong. Uh, Ring of Range is nice with all of these uh, animals. I don't think I want Reduplicator. Like, it's just gonna copy one of these cats, which I guess is okay. But Ring of Rage, I feel like, has a much higher upside in just making our creatures harder to deal with because they'll just 
kill their creatures. And then we're going to be level 5 next turn, so I'm just going to buy this Polywoggle and use it to sell for gold next turn, I think. Alright. We'll try it this way. I kind of... I need to... Let's do this like this. Because I, I need Copycat to summon these creatures before Hungry Hippo attacks and possibly dies. Um... So I guess the downside is if, like, Blind Mouse attacks and doesn't die, and then we get attacked and also the creature doesn't die, then we won't be able to summon anything. But, well, I mean, it's a lot of things that have to live, right? This has to live, the thing attacked has to live, and then this has to live. So I think we're in a good spot. Ooh, they have a nice dwarf team, though. Alright, that's down. Now we're going to get a 6-6. Six, six. Alright. Yeah, this is a quite a large Princess White. Our Hungry Hippo might be able to get us there, but there's also this 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 issue, this issue right? The doubly. Okay, we killed the uh, Princess White, so we're good. We're good to go. That was sketchy. I think we're going to lean on this Hippo very, very hard to get to where we need to be. Um, I don't, I'm not interested in the donkey. Cupid's kind of interesting. I want to find something to replace this blind mouse with. I like Hippo, but I don't think we have the time to, like, grow another one. I'm gonna eat this. Okay, that's another copycat. Ooh, baby bear. Okay. Baby bear is great. I wonder if I want the cats to summon them. Like, summon another baby bear. And I guess that would be pretty good for us. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try it like that. And then I'll roll again. And there's a triple. I'm liking the look of this. It feels a little underpowered, like it feels like we have to get off these attacks to like really be in a good spot, but um, Hungry Hippocampus can really, really carry a game. So that's kind of where I'm, what I'm banking on here. Copycat's fun. I've never messed with them. They always just seemed a little win more, I guess. Like, they need to be alive to attack and then your back row has to be alive for it to trigger, so I always stayed away from them because I tend to be kind of risk adverse, but th these have been pretty fun. Alright, so we're going to get a baby bear and uh, another summons. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm liking Copy Cat. I might, I might play with it some more. Because like I said, I avoided it for the longest time, but I'm actually having a lot of fun with them. And now I think that our Hippocampus is just so big, like, I, they just can't get past it. And I think if they had a Romeo, we killed it before the Juliet went down, so... Wow, that was it for our uh, random drooler. <laughs> so we'll take the triple. Characters have plus three health or summoning portal. I think I'm just going to take the six of shields. Like, okay, I know summoning portal is good with what we have going on. But six of shields plus ring of rage does the same thing almost. Like, it's a guaranteed plus three plus three. And we don't have to go through so many portals, plus one, and then they're plus two, and then the plus three. Then I guess I'll put this here. And that's another Wombat. Do I just want to take the other Wombat? Because I'm off these. Yeah, that's not, let's not. Let's, let's give it a shot. And then I guess we actually want the Wombats behind the uh, Copycats. So we can just summon a couple level sixes. Or random characters, rather. I think I want to do this. Yeah, this thing's cool. Like, it gives us a chance to high roll. Okay, up against Fallen Angel. It's based on the name for a second. Our bear dies, which is unfortunate. However, we're about to... Okay, we need... Okay, cool. We need something to die. That way our copycat could actually summon something. That is a huge polywoggle. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Okay. 
All right, that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> nice. Less nice. Uh, Cupid's being annoying, but we get there. All right, copycat. We'll roll. Uh, against the top person, I think I'm going to grab this Ride of the Valkyries just so we have a little more oomph. Ah, now that is tempting. So we can take this. I can sell Kitty Cut Purse. And one other creature. This is tough. What do I sell here? So right now it's up to 12, 12 sheep. I could sell uh, Wombats in Disguise and then just run this back here. I think I'll do that. Maybe that's just completely wrong. But level 5 trophies are insane. And then, yeah, we'll... Howl the Ugly Gosling over a uh, deck of many things, and then we'll swap. Okay. The... I like deck of many things, but... Ugly Gosling is just going to buff us a lot. Like, look at this power drift on some baby bear. Alright, that's a big chicken. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I think we'll be able to win just off the toughness on Hungry Hippos. This card, if you get this card going, it is absurd. Also, we're on top four. I don't even know when that happened. <laughs> All right, we take down Mako. So this should be here, I think. And Crockbait seems pretty good. Oh, we can Crockbait and put like Hungry Hippos in it? That's interesting. Or Crockbait and put like Nyans in it? Or do I just want to try to find like a a Berenstain? Hmm. I think we're gonna crockbait this actually. Yeah. Then we'll roll. Uh, shoulder fairies would give me basically another hippocampus. But no, let's try to find the uh, Berenstein. Another Wombat is also interesting. We could lock for that. Yeah, let's lock for that. And then I'll grab this so I can sell for gold. Because I really would love to triple Wombats in Disguise. Ooh, wow. Wait, this was their level six? This is like a perfect treant comp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is absurd. Wow. I'm like speechless. How did they... This has to be the best apocalypse rule I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. <laughs> Absolute absurdity. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, we get this. I could take Hannah Midas. I don't know how much good that does us, though. Um, I think Tree of Life is going to go great with our Hungry Hippo. So I'll take that over Six of Shields, I guess, at this point. 
That's a good boy, but we're not really doing good boy things. I'm gonna eat this tree so that we can roll a couple more times. I'm still so disappointed we haven't found a bear steam. Bear steam would be amazing in this composition. Uh, I'll offer that triple. It frees up some space on the board and like, this one's not getting a lot of value because of, I don't have anything back here for it to trigger. I guess I could swap these. It's just so sketchy leaving hungry hippos out front because it could get Medusa'd. Our guess is really just Medusa I'm afraid of or just a really big creature. Actually, yeah, let's it like this just so that my copycats have more targets. Okay, sugar daddy. All right, we opened up a spot. Cat down, that's horrifying. We probably just lose because of Jormungand. Okay. Well, I mean, we're doing something. <laughs> Like, honestly, I think we'd be fine if Jormungand hadn't uh, gotten the sleigh. And there it is again, getting another sleigh. Yeah, we're just so dead to that Jormungand. We might actually just... I think we do die here. Because this is 6, 7, 8, 9. So yeah, that, that'll kill us. That's unfortunate. I feel like we were... This is the problem I've been having. And please let me know in the comments if you know what I could be doing to be better about this. But... I keep, like, having really solid opening and middle games, and then towards the end, there's just something that other players know or are doing where they transition into these just, like, busted, so strong compositions. And I can't seem to cross that threshold and also get there. So, uh, any critiques, anything you, you see me doing, like, let me know in the comments, because I, I want to improve this game. Uh, I mentioned it in another video, but I hit um, Mythic last month which means I'm qualified for the tournament in December. So I would love to get better. So anything you see, feel free to let me know. Um, thank you guys for watching. This was a really fun draft. Um, I might need to give Pipe Hyper a bit more of a chance. I really enjoyed it. And also the Copycats. Copycats was super fun. Uh, I don't think I was playing it entirely optimally. I probably should have had Baby Bears in the back row way earlier. Um, that was an oversight on my part. I just am so geared to have uh, Hippocampus in the back. I just didn't even think about it. But I probably should have done it this way. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching again. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.